Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, the situation in Ukraine is still rapidly evolving with growing complexity and sensitivity. What is most needed now continues to be to intensify diplomatic efforts, reduce tension, and bring the Ukrainian issue back to the track of a political settlement as soon as possible, while making efforts to prevent a massive large-scale humanitarian crisis. Stop fighting and hostilities is a widespread desire of the international community. Peace negotiations are the only viable means to achieve that goal. Recently, Russia and Ukraine have held multiple rounds of direct talks, and the two foreign ministers held a high-level meeting yesterday. All these are positive steps towards achieving peace. The international community should continue to encourage and support Russia and Ukraine in their negotiations and create necessary environment and conditions for such peace talks. China will continue to work with the international community and play its part in de-escalating the situation and seeking peace. Mr. President, China attaches great importance to biosafety and security and consistently stands for complete prohibition and a thorough destruction of all WMDs, including biological weapons firmly opposes the development, possession, and the use of biological and chemical weapons by any country and under any circumstances, and encourage those countries that have not yet destroyed their stockpiles of chemical weapons to do so as soon as possible. The purposes and the principles of the Biological Weapons Convention should be strictly upheld. Biological weapons are weapons of mass destruction. Any information and leads on biomilitary activities should trigger high attention from the international community. China has noted with concern relevant information released by Russia. To upheld the Biological Weapons Convention is an obligation for all state parties. The concerns raised by Russia should be properly addressed. China urges relevant parties to effectively implement their obligation under the Convention, provide a comprehensive clarification, and accept a multilateral verification. We have taken note of the press report that WHO has advised to the Ukrainian government to destroy the pathogens located in those labs in order to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. We look forward to be receiving more specific information on this. Under the current situation and for the sake of public health, we call for ensuring the safety and security of relevant laboratories. Mr. President, the U.S. representative in her statement made a groundless allegations against China, which we firmly reject. The international community have been raising concerns about the U.S. military biological activities. They have around the world 336 laboratories. This number comes from the information provided by the U.S. to the Conference of State Parties of the BCW. The U.S. said they are for transparency. If they believe the relevant information is fake, all they can do is to provide us with relevant data provide clarification so that the international community, community can draw a conclusion by itself.